word word and we can move on from black ops let's talk about doom the dark ages man let's talk about it we we got dropped right into some heat baby the doom slayer is back and he is looking better than ever with the fur coat with the mink on and stuff like that look at look at look like a beast he got i don't even know what's going on he got mechs he's running around these wide open spaces he got a shield he's parrying there's so much happening in this game but we got the first reveal trailer when when you were very very excited when this dropped in, in the reaction stream on no cooldown talk to me man how you feel about doing the dark ages so i am excited i am very very excited to see this game i love i'm a huge fan of doom i think playing doom 2016 i play i didn't care too much of it i remember when it got released it got announced that i was like man i don't give a fuck about no doom and then i got it for like seven dollars that's seven dollars i paid in my life i bought eternal day one um i literally just redownloaded eternal as soon as i saw after that that trailer um this game looks bananas the shield uh, the setting I found out that this is actually a prequel to doom 2016 so this is like in the past which like no yeah. like now that I'm saying it make kind of makes sense but also like giant robots mm -hmm. what's going on here like I don't know too much about this st where the story take place all I saw was chainsaw shield and in my mind was like I don't need to see anything else this is exactly <laughs> what I want um this game looks bananas I I don't like the 2025 uh date and i think that's gonna be a reoccurring theme for me is saying i don't like the 2025 date but i'd rather it be 2025 than 2026 and if it's early 2025 i think they're in a really really solid spot mm -hmm. but doom eternal is probably one of the best fps's of all time doom is one of, is one of the best fps's of all time period correct but the doom games have like time and time again shown me that you can have a single player doom experience you can have a single player uh fps experience and it'd be really good like that was my biggest mm. gripe with like doom when i first saw it was like how much content can i how much content can i really get out of a uh of one of a single player fps game mm. and honestly i got a lot of enjoyment out of it i'm i'm literally playing through doom eternal again i have the dlcs there's different modes in those games like it shows that not every fps game has to be a multiplayer shooter mm. and that's what i love the most about doom yeah and it's funny it's funny how honestly the movement of doom is probably more addictive than half of the shooters out in the market right now at least in my opinion that just yeah, it, it, when you get into the so flow of things good. man like it this looks fantastic man this looks fantastic and again as you stated it's a, it's a prequel origin story you know what i mean i this shit just looks badass bro listen more doom in our lives is a good thing that is all yeah. we need to know you know what i mean like just super shotguns you saw the whole the big ass gun that was crushing skulls and did like a little aoe thing the whole skull a literal skull crusher gun that's so fire that is so fire yeah. bro is moving around like captain america on the map i like how the maps are a little bit wider give you again uh, uh, a bit more of a berth to kind of you know freestyle it, may, it might give way to a lot more you know bigger range attacks again obviously probably saving room for like the mechs and some of the higher movement you get with the, the, the big ass mecha dragon that you just fly around and have like yeah this shit is crazy yeah, that's this, this, bananas. Shit, this just again leads me to believe we're gonna get such big scale fights and again outside of stuff with the mech you might just be on foot having these big ass you know fights with people and stuff it it, it looks fantastic the, the again I, I don't think mick gordon is on this project but the music still looked sounded pretty solid uh really i i liked what i saw man i'm surprised i a pleasant surprise that doom actually dropped and 2025 bro 2025 is going to be a nasty year but you are correct if it hits uh if it hits i'd say the march to april kind of that timeline if it hits around that a little range i think that's a sweet spot for them if they can hit early in the year they're gonna have enough to stand out before it gets really really heavy and you know they might lose track to again everybody's everybody's kind of running from gta this shit's like the wire when my man one man comes out and start whistling with the shoddy on him you know what i mean like oh, that's Omar, yeah 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 like omar and shit like it, that's gonna be the big specter around but doom definitely can stand and hold their own in the year but i think if they drop earlier first half like first q1 end of q1 i think that's probably the sweetest spot for them to drop in my opinion but yeah this 
bro, it's doom. It's doom. We're yeah, good. Doom We're back, good. Baby. You know what I mean? Doom We're back. back. You know what I'm saying? 10 out of 10. Five stars. We, we win. We win. <laughs> All right.